Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is March 11th, 2022, and this is episode 486. Today we're looking at the number one issue of Hit Me coming out from Awa Upshot. This is the first of five in this this arc. Okay, uh, on the cover here we have Lulu, and she's holding up an ace and a diamond. This scene does not happen in the book, but the person Lulu is in it, and she is pretty much depicted here as we see her. So that's the best I can say to this. Um, this is a not a recommend, unfortunately. I've been really liking a lot of stuff from Awa Upshot, and this is not one of them. I may look at the second issue, but I'm not planning on buying it at this time. Um, it was just too hard to take. I didn't care for the main character, which is Lulu. Uh, we start out, we find out from Lulu that she is someone kind of like a prostitute, but instead of giving sex... She lets men pound on her and beat her. And depending on how serious the blows or the the marks that left behind is, uh, that's how she figures out how much they have to pay to do so. Now, she does this. Uh, the, more, the more marks you make on her, the more you pay, obviously. And if she hit her in the face leave marks on her face, that costs twice as much. I know that. So they tend not to. They did give her a black eye here, which is kind of funny. I, I'm assuming maybe she's looking at the mirror because on the next page, the mark is actually on the other eye. As we go up here and look here. Um, that's the only way I could figure that out. But she's got ligature marks on her ankles. You can see she goes in the shower. She's pretty well beat up. But she goes right to another job right after that, like, like nothing happens. But before she goes... She she has a workout with her boyfriend, who's, I guess, or not boyfriend, or her bodyguard, who's in love with her. But she doesn't want anything to do with him, love-wise, just that uh, she does use him for workouts. And you can see he, she gives him a, a head butt there. So the whole thing right there, there is, it's a real fantasy, okay? Now, I want to also say that this is written by a woman. And I think if a man wrote this, he would be all over the news about, you know, being a misogynist and all this other stuff. There's really nothing to like about this main character other than she's pretty and she's a woman. And she's hot. She seems to have no real values. Um, but maybe that's enough for some people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if other people are going to like this as much as I didn't like it. Um, but after the workout, they kind of talk about the relationship together and that she's got another job with someone that's super abusive, even though she hasn't even waited to, to heal up from her last outing. Now, let's take a quick look to see who worked on this. I kind of should have done this earlier. Like I said, the, the writer is a woman, Krista Faust. Who's being um, very brave here, I guess. Priscilla Petraites is the artist. And the arts, to me, is okay. It looks a lot uh, digital, obviously. Marco Lesco is the colorist. We've seen his work before and World Designs. Letter, we've seen that. And the cover artist is Jeff Deckel. Now, there was other, other covers for this. Uh, this is the main one, and you can take a look at here. There you go. So the art, I do like the cover. I think that's kind of a cool cover. But once you get to know the character, I don't see how anybody can can fall in love with this character at this point. Um, even the fictitious body, bodyguard here. Now, what I've noticed in here, I was trying to put a time frame on this story, but it doesn't really say. Um, she talks about being, she looks to be about 20 to 25, I'm guessing. But she says stuff like, back in the day, <laughs> this joint used to be quite a glamorous place. I'm thinking, like, what, when you were five? I mean, come on. Um, 
The vehicles that are shown in here, they seem to be 70s and 80s, so I'm assuming this might be late 80s. He's wearing a, a crow t-shirt, the crow. So I'm thinking late 80s, right? maybe right around 1990, I don't know. Now the, the slot machines, they all have the arm, they do not have the push button on them, so I'm assuming that it's older, it's supposed to take be taking place in an older time period. Now she comes across this one guy that owns this particular casino, and you can see he's looking very Miami Vice-y here. Um, there's no, like, I didn't see any cell phones or anything. Just, um, yeah, just seems to be older. So the big deal is she gets called up to this guy. She notices on the cams, they have, they do have the, uh, surveillance the surveillance looks kind of old-fashioned as well that the guy that she's supposed to meet is looking fidgety and he's one that really pummels her when he when they when she has a job with her so her her bodyguard's really worried for her because he has an invested stake because he loves her that's kind of it um so we get the scene where they have one last talk you don't have to do this and she's not going up anyway and leaves the boyfriend behind now she's heading up to the room. Another man comes along and enters the room and starts fighting with, or arguing maybe, with uh, Mr. Tack, who's supposed to be her client. And you can see here he's drawn a gun on her when she walks in the room. And a moment later, her bodyguard, seeing the, on the cam that there's trouble, comes in as well. And there's a big gunfight that ensues where two of the, the players get killed. The, uh, the first assailant, the client, both get killed. And her bodyguard gets shot in the thigh. She sees there's a bag there, a velvet bag that Mr. Tack was holding. It contains a lot of jewels, diamonds, if you will. She takes them because she needed to get paid, I guess. And... At least she helps her bodyguard out of the room. At one point, I thought maybe she was going to leave him behind. And we end this getting into an El Camino. Um, and she's spearing him off, not to the hospital. He requested not go to the hospital, but she has some other, some other place to go. So here is the cover for issue two. Hit me. It's got some weird-looking nurse lady. So I guess they're going to go to some kinky place after this that she knows of because there seems to be gag stuff and blindfolds and whips and, and whatnot there as well. So yeah, it didn't really resound with me. I didn't really care for the story. It seemed a very typical, you know, hooker gets in trouble that's not that she didn't cause and, it, and uh, she ends up with loot and runs off so I mean that's kind of the story here even though she's not so much as a hooker as she is someone that you just beat up so a lot of sadism and masochism going on here and that's her life and she's okay with that okay very strong female there all right good role model for all females all right we get a little bit of some of the other art here I believe here's this is Krista Faust, the writer. You can get in here. You can take a look at her. She's a sassy woman, obviously. Um, I should be saying these things, but that's kind of how it comes off. Letters from the creators have hit me right here. And we get the artist, Priscilla Petrades. And I think I've done stuff with her before with um, other things she has worked on before. You can see some of her uh, sketches here. So not really stunning drawings, probably a little bit better than what I do. Here's what's coming up in the next month. And after I show you this, we'll go ahead and take a look and see what else Awa Upshot has. I just saw a uh, video up from the Critical Drinker talking about how to get more views on your... <laughs> on your videos and one of them was script the viewer like i don't have time to script this i got like so much other stuff going on writing a novel and i don't know how he scripts this stuff i mean that's it's incredible that he can but boy i just didn't have the time to do it but it also he's got a million subscribers and i've got like 270 so that's a, it's a big difference there 
Okay, here's some of the other creations from the creators of Hit Me, uh, Bad Mother. You might have remembered that one. I think some people like that one a lot. I remember people are liking that. Red Redemption. Not Red Redemption, just Redemption, I'm sorry. And then Chariot. What? Maybe um, Priscilla worked on Chariot with Brian. Maybe that's where, yep, that's right. So this was a recommend, this one, Chariot. I did enjoy that first arc. Brian Edward Hill was the writer on that. Um, okay, we got a letter from the editor, and then the Joneses. And take a look at this. I'm assuming that they are a black family and maybe superheroes. I'm not quite sure and who the Joneses are, but uh, don't even try keeping up with the Joneses. Michael Morse, Morse, Morrissey? I guess Morrissey. I think I might have reviewed some of his stuff before. I'm not sure. The name sounds familiar. So that's coming out in April. And here's what we got coming out this month. Hit me Primos, which was the inside cover. And then uh, this one, Cage, Crimson Cage, which we saw inside. I'll go back and take you can take a quicker look. The Fourth Man and Hotel Hell Knighted. I'll go back real quick. There you go. Primos. Four issues. Issue two is on sale this month. So this came out last month. I had known nothing about it. Um, I might have taken a, look, a flip through to see if it was interesting to me, and I don't think it was, so I passed on it. Crimson Cage, I, issue number four. I know I took a look at this. It's uh, issue four or five. John Lees is the writer on that. It's just kind of creepy. I've been doing a lot of bloody, gory things, so it must not have really looked that appealing to me for me to pass on it. I did vinyl. I did cereal. Hadracolina. We see that purgatory, lots of blood spilling on those. And finally, I think we have the fourth man, Jeff McComsky, McComsky Mike Diodato doing the, the drawing on that. And I think he's a pretty good artist. In Life and Death, Murder, You Get What You Pay For, Double Down. Oh, Double Double. So that looks like the in and out but it's actually a big burger, not in and out The Fourth Man, a four-issue series. That went on sale. Oh, it's going on sale, issue number three, on March 23rd. So I, I don't remember seeing that. I just missed it. And finally, Hotel, which we had talked about before a little bit. Okay, so there you have it. It is a not recommend. Unfortunately, it does not get the Indie Comics Jones... Good excavating seal of approval. Nice cover, though, and that's kind of what intrigued me. I thought I'd give it a, give it a try since it was an Awa upshot, and there were a few that I really liked in the past year. As always, thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video review of Hit Me. But please don't hit me. Please like me. Subscribe to me. Leave comments to me if you wish. And we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.